Are you? You're not the one, but I'll kill you. <laughs> Just kidding. We can be friends. That's right, Dingus Bear. Also, this is straight out of Sekiro. Like, I think someone was talking about it. I know I mentioned it way back, but this is like the bowl from Sekiro, basically. Even almost as much as the- oh man, why are there so many freaking room bears over here? Oh, okay, whatever. Even more so than the Falling Star Beast, although maybe not. Make clips and post in the Discord. It's fun, that's true. Guardian Ape? I don't see the Guardian Ape as much, but you're right. I should see that. Gonna relax so much this weekend. Ooh, any plans? kill the sleeping one. Why are animals more of a threat than human enemies? I know, right? Legitimately. Left hand slams there straight from Guardian Ape. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with the Guardian Ape, so that makes sense that I missed it, but that's really good to know. I always think of the bull. I'm sorry. What the f*** is this? really doesn't want clean feet, huh? This is- this is the- this- okay, this is a PSA, clean your toe fungus. Like, seriously, so f***ed up. It's like the radio commercial I told you guys about. Oh, I'm sure those, uh, fungus skulls will fall off on their own. No big deal, I don't need to worry about that. But then you don't take care of the fungus, next thing you know, you're shooting fireworks out of your brain and, and ringing a bell around your neck. You're, I don't know what this count says. What, what is that anatomically? This one has a lot of skull. <gasps> oh. oh. Are you going down, down? Oh, yeah. Let's go. You know what? I realized the bell goes in. That's actually really weird. What the? Okay, fair enough. Fungus skulls go great with fettuccine. God, they don't have hands. Yeah, but like they could do something. I don't know. Bell goes in. Yeah, the bell goes in, and then it just it's under there, I guess. Wait, why can't I? Sir? Hmm. Eh? So that was weird. I'm already wait. I'm already all the way up here? Oh man. Catch. Oh! Oh, apostate derelict? Is that a lady? Spug, don't worry? Okay. I figured. Hi? Summon Latena. Oh, young yet towering sister of ours, 
Let the birthing droplet in. What? And create life. For us. For all the Albanorix. What? The birthing droplet? Oh, the silver mirror shield. Hang on, I'll talk to you in a moment. I just really want to know what that- Actually, I'll talk to you first. No, let's read the item first. The birthing droplet? That's a little sussy. Shield of radiant silver festooned with amber and carried by Loretta, knight of the Halig tree. Oh, that's- Thank you for the reminder of who Loretta was, because I would have forgotten. So this is the, the ghost spirit that we fought riding the horse, so maybe she was an Albanaric as well. The shape is said to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself is an Albanaric. Okay, listen, I- Okay, I thought- really hit me with it with the whole like idiot absurd rumor you thought loretta was an all the dark you fucking idiot wow the game really had to hit me with that huh <laughs> i actually got fucking styled on by the lore whatever thank you i finally fulfilled my purpose Let's go, Sombra Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone! Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Okay, that was kind of a bummer. So, is this the lady from Dark Souls 3 with the egg? Philianor? Imagine every conversation your sister makes an effort to mention your towering size. Yeah, like, hey sister, how's the weather up there? Also, young yet towering is a very uncomfortable phrase. Like, that's really uncomfortable. Like, hey, my sister's, like, young yet towering, you know? Ugh. I'm gonna give her the- I'm gonna give her the birthing droplet, you know what I'm talking about? Like, that sounds like something I should be put in jail for. This is uncomfortable. I don't like any of this. I'm not a fan. Hi, I rested? Are you working now? Uh, who cares? I don't- well, whatever. So, I was gonna go check uh, if we can do anything at the- Because there's actually a bonfire right where she's talking about. So... Here. Slumbering Wolf Shack. I want to see if we can do anything with it now. Uh, the wink shirt. It's creepy! Like, I don't like young. It's like, it's like young yet towering. Like, what? Why? It's weird. <gasps> he's just, he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping, chat. Don't worry. It's the slumbering wolf shack, not the dead wolf shack. It's okay. Everything's fine. We can't do anything. Kind of a bummer. Young and tall rhyme in Japanese. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't make it better. Like, okay, my young yet high strong sister. Like, I know it's not the same thing, but it doesn't make it cute. Ah, my sister, give us new life. She's young and high strong. You know what I mean? Does it make it a little better? Or does it seem like one of those creepy nursery rhymes that you secretly find those about everybody dying? You know, Ring Around the Rosie is about the frickin' Black Plague. It's- the Ring Around the Rosie, it's like- it's like the symbol of the Black Plague was like a black spot that then had a ring around it, which was representative of the symptoms. And then the pocket full of posy was like the- the stuff that they thought would ward it off, like scents- scented stuff. And then... Uh, what was next? Ashes Ashes was like burning the corpses, and then we all fall down as everybody dying. So, literally... Things for children are often dark as hell. So just because it's cute, it sounds cute, doesn't mean it do be. Children are always creepy in horror movies. Coincidence? True. One of the mausoleums caused the others to glitch. Rip. I did not realize that Latena had a quest. Uh, but she did ask me to take her to the Halleck tree. This spawned the absurd rumor that Loretta was an Albanaric. 
I'm not gonna forget that one. Raffrina will remember this. End description it was trying too hard to hide the truth through. Hi, are you a ghost? Can I talk to you? Well, then you're useless to me. I can't talk to you or... Beat you up? Like, what purpose do you serve? <gasps> oh, golden sea. I don't need them, but I'm happy. I heard from a friend who heard from a friend who heard from a friend that Loretta was an Albanaric. And also, I heard that Loretta worked for FromSoft. Leave Melina alone. I know, but to be to be completely fair with you, I never like the level up ladies. But at least Melina seems to have a story. That's good. That doesn't look like any Albanaric we've seen. But we know she is one. These are all Albanarics. It's just the Albanaric women look different. She is described specifically as an Albanaric woman. She comes from the village of Albanarics. The Albanaric people in the Albanaric village are like, go, you know, help Latena or whatever. Latena has the other one. She's like our last hope or whatever. Gideon specifically says, find the Albanaric woman. Like, she's definitely an Albanaric woman. She also, like, her legs don't work. That that seems to be a thing as the as they age. Uh, Albanarics, I mean. They lose the use of their legs. Love Melina, how dare you? also love Dark Souls 3 level up lady, and I do not like her. Pied Piper is for sure creepy. The Pied Piper is a really, really interesting one. Um, actually, I, I watched this, like, not quite a documentary. It's kind of a documentary. Hang on, I want to read this. What is this? Liturgical town. What is what is liturgy? Is that like is that like linked to alchemy, like chemistry? Am I am I understand that right? Like I I don't know what that word means off the top of my head. Like liturgical analysis, something like that. I can look it up. No, it's worship, right? Like church, right, 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 right. Very different. A form or formulary according to which public religious worship, especially Christian worship, is conducted. Public office or duty performed voluntarily by a rich, rich Athenian in ancient Greece. Okay. Interesting. So basically, this is the, um... Church town. Cool. Or to her, makes sense. Uh-huh. Bunch of ghosts in here. Kind of weird. Are you nice ghosts or mean ghosts? You're all Albanarics. That's really interesting. Oh, it's just like Celia, right? I really like Celia too. This is a beautiful town. I immediately thought it might be like, uh... Wait. Oh, this is some shit, huh? What is- <gasps> That's a Mikola lily. That's a Mikola lily that's shaped like a candle. We already know we're heading toward the path toward Mikola's Halic tree, so it's not that unusual, but like, we already know that... Do we? I don't know. I, I don't know what I know and don't know. Hi? Light the four figures in the Everjail. What? Is it like a boss rush? Okay, the music here sounded like the Star Trek Next Generation opening. The clergy follow liturgy. Wait, what do you Oh no, it's not a boss rush. It's like the stupid apes from Sekiro, isn't it? Please, no. I hated that so much. Light the four figures. What? Alright, let daddy figure it out. So what I'm gonna say... Uh, I was- I was- since, I, since I'm just gonna be nonsensing around while I figure this shit out... Oh my fuck! No, I hate this. I'm in hell. I'm in hell. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it said that torches help. I remember buying a thing that says torches help. Where's my fucking torch? Well, the torch doesn't seem to be helping so much as it happens. Uh, I hate this. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Wow, this is so great. Do I have to light them on fire? Oh my f I 
I love that these are hot murder assassin ladies, but I really wish that they weren't like this. I hate this. What are black knives doing here? I have no fucking clue, and at this point, I don't even care. This sucks. Uh... Well, I guess they're trying to kill people. They're, they were trying to kill Ronnie. Oh. Interesting. Chat, you better not be giving me hints. I'm not reading you right now. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm not talking to you guys if you guys are giving me hints. Um, It's interesting that Black Knives are here, though, because... uh, So the Black Knives were, like, summoned. Good dog. We're summoned by, we're conjured by Ronnie to do um, assassinations on Godwin. God Godwin? Yeah, Godwin. And was it Godwin? I don't fucking remember. Who cares? Um, but basically, then what happened was they turned, they seemed to be like trying to kill her because she became a non-Empyrean anymore. Which is kind of weird, and I don't know how I feel about it. So maybe they're going after more Empyreans because the Empyreans aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Which would make sense. I'm gonna explore this place before I go right into the Ever Jail again. I don't think we gotta kill the, the thing. I think they're just an obstacle while we explore the place within the Ever Jail. Because looking at this, this is, this is like Celia. Oh, uh, maybe we gotta like, maybe there'll be a torch here at this symbol. I'll mark them. Won't be the most helpful thing. But I'm willing to try that. And it's just like a people run type situation. Let's try that again. Let's, let's, let's do that and climb up here and see if it's different. Because that looks so significant, but there's nothing there. It's ever jail. Uh, G-A-O-L is just an old way of saying jail. Oh, how did I get up there? Was this like this before? Oh no, I'm confused. I'm about to get assassinated in the spinal column again. I mean, it sure looks like there's something up there, but it could be the same thing that I already saw. Because you can't mount in an Everjail, which is kind of a huge bummer. Can't get assassinated if I'm up here. Uh, that scared me. Hi? Oh, they're not ghosts in the real world. In the real- in the real world, they're ghosts. But in the spirit world, they're spirits! They were put in jail! And I hate them. I hate them a lot. Oh, fuck off. Okay, this can't be the right way. I did it so well before I was weighed down with all these arrows. Damn, acupuncture hitting different today. What the fuck? Damn, okay. Pretty easy mounted. It would be too easy mounted, so they won't let me do it. Look, Michaelis, Michaelis, Elise. <sighs> okay, so this is one, and it's right at the entrance. Let's go for that one, because that's that seems important, right? Like that symbol with them just sitting there? I think I'll be able to find that. Make a lilies. I love lilies. They're my favorite flower. Oh, these, lo these look more like lilies of the valley. So I may or may not have gotten turned around already. <laughs> Why am I like this? How, how did I manage to get lost? 
Maybe it, oh, is it up there? I think it's, wait, I think it maybe does change the layout. Maybe the blue, the blue lights are like hinting that there's ladders there. So that's helpful. Uh, oh, here we go. I found it. Yep. Light flame. I get it. Okay. So there's four of these and they're marked in the real world by like a little symbol. And we just got to find the symbol. That's all. Easy. Easy. Not easy. I like this, though. Um, I hate uh, some of it. Uh, a lot of it, maybe. Even, you might say. <laughs> this can't be. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, I, I have enough problems. It's... No, please. I'm gonna get arrowed. You don't understand what I'm going through right now. Please sit fast. Double sit. Holy fuck. Okay, this is disgusting. The archers are really mean. So there's one up there. Let's let's just try to get our bearings in the real world where nothing's attacking you. Uh because holy shit. Um without mounting. Okay, so we get up here. See, it's so easy when you're not getting shot at by a bunch of archers. Let's see about over here, because we know about that one. Yeah, yeah, this is actually really mean. Got that one. I don't know how we get to that one. Even this, what the fuck? Oof. This is a tough platforming challenge. Well, let's go for the one that I know of, because, like, that's just another part of it. New place back to front for exploring it outside the jail. Yeah, that's probably a better plan, like, to be patient and play it that way, but I'm not doing that, so instead... Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that helps a lot. Let's go, new tech! Who this? Speedrun? Speedrun? Mod check? Mod check? Hang on. I mean, they still fucking hurt. And they still hit you from all over. Fuck off! Oh, fuck off. Backstab. Why are you so tangy? No. Okay. Oh, it was anxiety inducing. Oh my god, go, 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 go. I swear you're slower with that with the, the arrows in you. Like it's it's obviously like not the, the case, but it feels like it. Oh my god, that was <laughs> Oh that's another one. That's two. Two out of four. Oh snap. Okay, let's go from here. This seems like a good spot. Um if I only had any idea where to go. Okay. I think I know where to go. Well, not like exactly, but... Okay, go, 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 go. Assassino's here! But I do want the shiny, though. Crystal dart, very important. Very important. Oh, maybe this leads to the same one, I just realized. But no, this is a different side. So, this might be something different. Keep it going. Keep it climbing. Aha! Yeah, okay. If this is three, that's helpful. And we're just missing one, and we can just kind of explore. Oh, wow, okay. Three out of four. Not bad, not bad. This is kind of fun. But it's about find the last one now. Hmm. Hmm. I see no sign. Uh, 
Uh huh. Okay, yeah. Right in the Achilles. God damn it. Oh no. Oh my god, that is so savage. That is a horrible backstab animation. Holy shit. We are bad people. One death per try? Yeah, I mean, we got two, uh... Two per... per death. Or, yeah, we got one in one, uh... Oh my god, two in one death. One life. We're, we're not dead yet. Uh, okay. Could be hidden in the outskirts. Yikes. <gasps> oh my god, that actually scared me. Oh, play through winging it? Yeah, both literally with my weapon. And also figuratively. That actually scared me. I forgot these ladies are here. I like how everybody here is is a lady. Like, powerful warrior lady that's terrifying and, and mean. Those are my favorite kind, honestly. Okay, I'm I'm so scared of being stabbed and jump scared that I'm actually like throwing with my jumps now. Okay, hi. Hi, uh, hi, listen. I feel like it might be over here. There it is! Yeah, because I could see this bridge. I saw this just as I was getting stabbed in the back. Describe yourself. I wish, but thank you. There we go. I'm not gonna say I got it yet. But at least we found it, so even if we lose here, we're at a good point. Ah, you're supposed to see that. I see. Well... Still, we found it! By process of elimination! We did it! A sail was broken in town! Let's go! Oh, oh, we're out of ever jail. Far too tanky for wearing chain mail? Chain, chain mail? Yeah, that wasn't too bad! So, we died a few times, but... We got, uh, three in one go! Without knowing where the- well, we knew where two were, kind of. But still, I'm pretty good- I'm pretty happy with that one. That wasn't too bad in the end. Let's go to the seal. Also, albinarics are like made of like silver water juice. You know? What's down here? Oh my god, I'm so sneezy today. I was just checking on the bridge to see if there's a troll. You know? Thank you for the blesses. Oh my god, I'm sneezing so much. They my, they're making my head spin. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this is. I'm very excited for this. <gasps> a teleportation. So this is the trial. Remember it said this is a trial that like no one was chosen for or whatever? We're, we're not done. We still have this whole area to explore, but I, I just, I gotta, I gotta go. I want to see this. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. What the heck? It's a tree house. Mikola's Halig tree. This is so pretty. <gasps> oh my god. I have to look at it. Look at it. T t telescope, telescope, telescope. It looks so intricate and beautiful. It's almost like everything's made of silk. Like weirdly like everything's made of silk. What's a Halig tree? What did Mikola do to deserve a whole tree, huh? I'm getting mad Sekiro vibes. Also, oh, look, the Scarlet Rot! The same mushrooms. But they're like not... Like, there's a lot of rot here, but it's not Scarlet... Well, it is Scarlet Rot. Yeah, no, this is the same stuff, so it's rotted. I wonder what that means for Mikola. I want to explore that town more. I Okay, we should really go back. 
I have not seen True Detective. I, I really do want to progress and just like head down and give her, but I want to be thorough in the consecrated snowfield. So she that Halix? Uh-huh. Accurate though. I do love the doot doot machines, gotta tell you. Wow. 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 You can't even see the earth tree from here. <gasps> you can only see the burning branches in the distance. That's gotta be significant, you know? Weird snowman things are goofy. Yeah, the marshmallow people. <laughs> Let's go with the forbidden waste. Listen, just, just please don't backseat. I know you mean well, but it's incredibly unwelcome. It happens all the time. And I'm a defiant little shit who when people tell me things, I, I can't do them anymore. And it, it, what is this? Hang on, why is there a thingy here? What's up here? If it a little earlier, so I get it. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, those sneezes hit my brain. They came out of my, like, directly from my brain hole. Raph, I don't think you're supposed to have a hole in your brain. Be for yourself. Maximum pettiness? I know. You're being really mean, Raph. It happens all the time, okay? Listen, you guys know. You guys, you guys have seen it. You've seen the, you know, you've seen the, <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, hey, baby. Stinky avatar, been a minute. I loved your season in the Avatar The Last Airbender. Wasn't there like an episode about a stinky guy? I distinctly remember someone stinky. Now she refuses to use it. Yeah, people told me, hey, by the way, did you know that you could like open up the thing and do the thing? And then I was like, yeah, I don't want to. And also people tell me, hey, you can organize your inventory by like stuff. No, I don't do it. I did it one time, and it was to trade somebody so I could find it quickly. God, this guy is much easier than he was when I was level 40. Yeah, chill swamp guy. Right, remember? Yeah, the stinky guy! Canonically stinky. Forty cracked tier, ruptured cracked tier. Ooh, oh, is that the one that explodes? Makes consecutive uh, makes consecutive attacks grow stronger and makes physic. Wow, that's kind of sick. And then ruptured. Yes. Oh my god, you could do a double explosion. I'm into it. <clears throat> Need more honey tea. I've been I've been like uh. Not even like, like. I'm just very passionate, chat, okay? Not worth 160k? Don't tell him what he's worth. You can't put a, you can't put a, you know, soul value. You can't put a rune value on a, on a, on a life. <laughs> Ooh, hi. No, the rock! Where am I right now on the map, anyway? Oh! So this is a minor earth tree. Right, that's why there was an avatar there! Right, uh, Probably should've figured that, actually. Excuse me. Kamikaze a host? Yeah, like, I- apparently it does have a use, that thing. Heck, if I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I saw someone use it. Uh, I don't know if this is what happened because I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but it was pretty funny. I saw a clip on Twitter of someone they invaded and the hosts were spawn camping. So they drank the physic and it exploded and it killed the host and the, and the phantom who were like mashing attacks on them. But the invader had uh, like spawn protection. Teabagging is so 90s. Tell it to all the ganks who teabag me then. Fucking zoomers. What do you mean some 90s? Did they even invent tea bags in the 90s? Air absorbs one hit works with the explosion? No idea. Well, with half of it, maybe. Maybe? Because you can only mix two, right? 
doing more damage to them than to you, but I could be wrong. True, but I think the spawn protection helped with that particular instance for the clip that I saw. I think it's a turn from the 90s. It's fair enough. I was kind of joking anyway. I don't really know about the history of the term. The only thing I knew about teabagging was uh, it's how you make tea. You, you put the teabag in. Excuse me. Targeting? I feel like K-Man will probably teabagging each other. There's other ways to have bad manners, I think. I just realized this, this guy was discus throwing like the clean rot knights. That's the clean rot knight move. Look at their sad little golden eyes. Wait, they're golden eyes. Hang on. I was sleeping on you. Do you have lore? You have lore. Okay, so these guys have golden eyes. That is 100% intentional. I don't know necessarily what it means, but all the others we've met have had really, like, pure black eyes. If I did it first, I would know I was there. What's Quake? Is that like, uh, is it like Doom? I'm being driven mad by the beetle noises. Smithing stone. Nice. Oh, another one? Some more runes? No, 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 no. That, that, those were not shiny golden eyes. Those were like golden eyes. First how the monarchs made? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, but there, there's probably something- shit. Something to do with them, but they are... They're probably like the Crystallians that they're all made by the same people, but like there's got to be something different about them. We also meet the sort of albinaric looking beings that have, that are like Moog worshippers, and they're all like red, like they absorb blood, which makes sense for Moog, but it's interesting. Different thing. I'm not talking about the glowing eyes. I'm talking about literal golden coloration, which is something that we know is, is associated with the golden lineage. Another really interesting about the Albanarix. They're so mysterious. Like, I know I probably still miss stuff in this area. Like, this area is like, there's nothing. But it could also just be nothing. Because there is a walking mausoleum there, and walking mausoleums tend to be just like empty space, you know? So they're artificial beings, yeah. Yeah. They're kind of like homunculi. Like alchemical homunculi. In fact, that's the first thing I think that put me onto the concept of alchemy in the lore. I'm not sure that's a right theory, but I'm really feeling it. Okay, this is just where the mean wolf <laughs> ladies were. <laughs> I kind of like this. You have to get through the area in order for the snow to clear up so you can explore it easier. There were a few items up here. That's what I thought. There we go. Go through glintstone. There's a lot of different things here. Crafting counts as alchemy. You know, I'm not sure about that because one thing that is like, I, I think we talked about this, but it's been a long time since we talked about Godric and grafting in general. Um, but while grafting probably existed in other forms, it's strongly associated with Godric, which suggests, and it's like not a largely well considered theory. Or, not theory, but like, people did not like Godric. He was weak, so he resorted to it. It was always like a negative thing. Um, 
But really interestingly, if you think about it, um, another, like, grafting is also something you do with trees. Like, you graft tree parts to another tree. You know? Like, I'm not, I'm not a tree person or a plant person, but, like, you, you can take grafts of a tree as well. Not cuttings. I'm, I'm, there's something different. I think you can literally graft trees together. And they'll, like, combine. Something like that. I should look into this. I just thought about it recently. But it's actually kind of interesting to think about um, the fact that tarnished were used for grafting, considering for grafting trees, you have to be closely related, right? That actually makes it even more significant now that you bring that up. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Okay, let me see where this where this troll is. Oh, that's so sneaky. It's right here. Oh, it's probably the black knife armor, isn't it? I thought I already had that. What is stronger, my spite or my curiosity for lore? At least put it on regardless of lore? No. But the hood looks really pretty. I bet it really fits my outfit. It kind of looks like dancer's garb. Very ethereal, you know? I'll think about it. Oh! And I want the PvP characters, but I have a rule that if I don't find it, I don't read it. Let's go talk to Tanith. Let's think about what we're gonna do. And try and backtalk it. Yeah, no, no, that's very true. That's very true. But I'm I'm fighting with myself, you know, because I wouldn't have found that. It wouldn't have been the sneeze. Because I was looking more at the end. I would have missed it. Even sneeze or Hi Tanith. Oh, you allow me some our lords. Alright, I'm gonna kill like maybe one more boss, and then I'm gonna kill you. If you don't do anything interesting. So I'd really think about either eating faster or, you know, like, I don't know. You know, like, I I'm, I don't know, dude. Like, I remember how long I waited with Salen? I'm going to kill you, probably. But, you know, I'm just hoping maybe I'll do something interesting soon. You're running out of time to be interesting to me. It's a real pity. I rather have missed it and been like, oh, golly gee. Wait, what do you mean the door is blocked shut? That doesn't seem right. means I didn't finish here. What if we got it? No. And where's Patches? You know what? I'm gonna make a list. We're making a list. Of the people that we've lost. You. Patches. Tannin. Zarias. Who the fuck else have I been complaining about? Bernal, I think Bernal might be gone, but I will add him to the list. You're right. Bernal. Um, Dung Eater. Are you checking it twice? Do I look like Santa Claus? I'm gonna pick up the item. I'm gonna get it. I'm not strong enough to resist the lore chat. I love lore. I love it so much. Jaren, thank you. Weirdly enough, I came here looking for Jaren. Don't ask me why. I just was like, maybe he's here. I don't know. Um, Bernal. I literally have like a list. Oh, Kenneth. Nephili Kenneth. N Gold Mask. I forgot. I, I still don't know what the fuck he wants. It's great looking through this list and just being like, dead, 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 dead. I'm gonna write Gideon, but I'm sure he'll find me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know what's gonna happen with him. I still haven't gotten Vare's outfit, so I can't help but feel I goofed it. So we'll just do that. Um, Millicent. Okay, remember how I said I, I felt like I was mostly done? Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get the shiny that I'm not strong enough to resist. Not strong enough. You know what's sad is I literally thought I should look under the bridge and I wasn't thorough enough. Who am I? Who am I besides a disappointment to myself and you, chat? Sorry, chat. I failed you on this day. I don't like how it covers the eyes because my eyes are cute, but I do like the intricacy. 
hood used by the Black Knife assassins. The assassins that carried out the deeds of the Knight of the Black Knives were all women and rumored to be Newman who had close ties with Marika herself. Oh, damn! So, that's interesting. That's some additional lore. Show me the fashion, because it looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. Oh my god, it's like glowy. That's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Scale armor used by the Black Knife assassins forged to make no sound. Traces of power yet remain in its concealing veil, which muffles the sound of footsteps. The assassins that carried out. Okay, yeah. Kind of pretty. Chess piece is pretty cool. I grab the armor. I snuck through the Ever Jail by being silent due to this armor, invisible due to the nerdy wizard stuff. That's smart. Honestly, despite being a dex int build, I'm definitely- I have the heart of a... of a- of a bonk strength build. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I was thinking about it, and I realized that when I play these games, I basically just click R1 or L1. I don't really like doing a lot of magic. Oh, it's still foggy. Okay, my bad. I thought it was... I thought I went back to places that were foggy and they weren't foggy. So maybe it's still foggy. So I'm very much like a- I- I bonk and I dodge. That, that's how I play these games, for better or worse. Let's go over here. Wait, is it really like a straight shot from here to here? Wow, that's actually gross. Like, I was so close to that bonfire many times, I think. All the assassin type stuff seems more dex faith this time around. Interesting. Definitely fits, though. Scary. So, wait. Because we got rid of all the death root, did we kind of fulfill Roger's goal, do you think? I think we kind of did. Okay, you almost killed me, you sneaky son of a bitch. Down you go. See that shit? Son of a beetle! What's happening over here? More uh, dragons spawning from the ether or what? Yep. Oh, is that all? This is a weird, scary place I found myself in. Oh god. Wait, what is this? What the? Oh damn, this is new. No, it isn't. I've been here. Just kidding. Sorry. I thought it was one of the singing bats. I've been here. I explored. I explored. I, I do be remembering. Dex Faith also has Dex stuff instead of Strength stuff. Yeah. Your more, was more in line with Fia than Garonk. Um. I mean, here's the thing. He did eventually become one of Fia's summons. So there is that. There is, like, validity to that. The one thing is, though, he felt bad for those who were tainted by death. And he realized it wasn't their fault, so he wanted to cure them. But then again, he did not tell you. He did He did try to help Fia, so you know what? It's a good point. I just always thought that he was trying to fix it. Or Jared had a crush on Fia? Maybe. He did stop being friends with D because of their different opinions. So you're right, because D guides you to Garonk, so that's more like putting everything back to normal. But wouldn't removing the death root get rid of the... Like, cure those who are living in death? I don't know. Because, yeah, now that I think about it, Roger does tell you to do stuff that will help Fia. Like, that's how you do Fia's questline, is by following what Roger wants. And he's a part of the boss fight for Fia. But the other thing was that he becomes... 
like he he gets killed by it, right? What the? What's this? Oh, this is a very. I just realized how bloody this portal is. Uh. Uh, what the fuck? I'm not opening the map. I want to know where I am. We're gonna find out together. What is this? <gasps> Holy fuck, that is so well hidden. Holy shit, that's how you're supposed to find Moogs if you don't do Vare's quest? Jesus. Now that is sneaky. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad we did both. Because holy shit. Wow. Yeah, we are speculating on lore. Um, so I haven't beaten the game yet. So it's a little bit of that tough situation where you guys can't tell me everything freely. But we're mainly talking about Roger's um, motivations. Because you're right, he could be lying to you. A lot of the time, the characters who tell you a lot are lying to you. But unfortunately, here's the one thing is though, is that the reason I thought Roger was earnest and wasn't necessarily serving Fia is because he became uh like he was uh he was death rooted. He didn't choose it. It happened to him. He became basically it's like the doctor trying to treat leprosy becoming a leper, you know? I know leper's like fucking old and biblical as hell, but you know what I mean? Like the, the context that leprosy gives is like you're a pariah. If you are a leper, similarly, like it's someone who's trying to try, trying to help those with leprosy becoming a leper himself. Um, and he kept trying anyway, right? Portals may be hinting at what Moog did. Yeah. Dead eight hours later, so no clue. Yeah, I think we actually did the full quest line of him. What? Who is this? Oh, right, the merchant. I really should have marked it because I have no idea where it was now. Fuck. Either way, though, we know it's somewhere here. And there's a portal covered in blood. Now, the blood part makes sense. Roger seems so fascinated with knowledge in general. True! Roger really does seem earnest, and he does seem interested in knowledge, just like Gideon, but rather than wanting to encompass all knowledge, he seems to have a goal. And his I, I honestly think he's earnest in his goal. First meeting in Stormvale. What about the first meeting of Stormvale? World becomes like Dark Souls LMAO if I did it. <gasps> oh my god. Zombies ever sort of thing. Uh huh. Expresses admiration for how flexible the Golden Order used to be to pull things in that contradicted it. Yeah, which is really actually fitting considering that the, the primordial form of the Earth Tree was the Crucible, and the Crucible is kind of just everything existed in it in a big old flux. And not just that! Um, but Muriel tells us that too. Muriel is like, you know, everything is a contrivance. Whatever is a contrivance. Because basically all things are one in the Earth Tree. Long story short. No, I'm not interested in the bears anymore. I've had enough of the bears. Contrived is meat Earth Tree. Exactly. All things can be conjoined. Yes. Exactly that. Mm-hmm. Is this it? Did I find it? Oh, I think I found it. So, really interesting that there's Albinarix here. Now I understand, perhaps, why there are Albinarix at Mogwins. Like, I was so confused. They probably took the portal. Let's mark this on the map. I have aggro. Turtle Pope is smart. Let people do their own thing. He's been around forever, so he probably remembers the Crucible. Possibly. Good God. Oh, 
okay, lovely. So it's a portal covered in blood, and it leads to Mogwins. And there's Albanarix there, quite possibly some Albanarix either chose to serve Moog or were dragged in, but it's interesting that there's Albanarix here, but they seem to have come from here, perhaps. Maybe? Maybe they, they have several locations, because here they have like a whole town, and then outside they have a village, which is kind of haphazard, so, you know? Are Radigan, but not that far back to the Crucible? Right, that's true, because like, you would probably... Yeah, yeah, no, that's a fair point. I think I also just associate animals with the uh, with the Crucible because all the Crucible Knights are like animalistic and they have like they use animal parts and there's this idea and then everything that's linked to contact with the Crucible in any way becomes more animalistic and primeval like uh, the Misbegotten. Where they grow animal parts. It's weird because there's also the subtext of, of devolution. Oh, wow. Devolution with, uh, with animal parts being a representation of it. So the misbegotten are sort of, they look like cavemen. The, the, fa the way their faces are structured, they look a little bit more like a, like a pri prim not primordial human, but you know, like, like um, a pre-human human, you know what I'm talking about? What are those called? Like a human ancestor. Hi, Rune Bear. I have something I want you to break for me. Wake up. Spigons are really interesting chimeras to me. Yeah, and they seem to become that way. It's like a curse, just like the fell. But then it's like, what is the curse of the fell? It's something different. The curse of the fell, Neanderthal, thank you. They become like Neanderthals. Yeah, they, their faces look more Neanderthalish, as well as the animal parts. And then we have, um, very interestingly, I got this from a Zuli video. I was watching one of Zuli's videos. Zuli showed off just recently um, the Scion. The, what do you call it? The Scion of the the boss, the boss thing. So she, she just went over like the whole body of it. And I never noticed this because like I'm busy fighting. Oh, damn, nice. Thank you. I'm busy fighting it, but um, it has a bird wing. One of the grafted limbs is a bird wing. It's covered in bird feathers as well. And I couldn't figure out why. And then I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, well, the Misbegotten also have bird limbs. So I wonder if it's related to that. Is Hugh the Misbegotten? I think he might be. I don't know. He's an interesting case because he looks like them, but also doesn't quite. That said, it appears to become Misbegotten. You can just, it's just like a curse. You can become cursed at any time. Oh my god, that grab hitbox. I'm really glad. You know, one thing you'd always rely on in these games is grab hitboxes being shit. You know? Like, people are like, oh man, you know? Uh, is that, sorry, is that a second rune bear? Or, is, or were you just teleporting? That, no, you're, okay. What is happening here? Chris Hunter or something. He looks a little unique, but he does look kind of misbegotten-like. However, it's interesting. He was apparently close friends with Queen Marika. We don't know the details. Or, okay, maybe not close friends. But he's incredibly loyal to her. And I'm kind of getting the vibe of Yorm and, uh... Siegmeier from Dark Souls 3. Do you know what I mean? Like, are you kind of getting that vibe too? Because... She charged him to make a weapon that could kill a god, and she's the only god. All the others are demigods. Well, okay, only god that we know of. Perhaps she's charging him to kill, like, one of the outer gods or something. We don't know. But it sure seems like she wants to kill... She wants herself to be killed with him. Oof. Harry Chimin out of the mist is very cinematic. It was. There's a reason they advertised the rune bears in one of the promo images. Ooh, L1 was too greedy. Too too many attacks. You know, Hugh doesn't look quite like the Misbegotten, but he does have like animal parts and scales, which the Misbegotten do as well. Okay, that was just rude. Okay, stop. 
Okay, I specifically asked you to stop. You know what? You know what? It's fine. I don't care. I don't need to... I don't... Whatever. It's fine. I'm over it. I was actually just gonna run away. I was gonna let you live, you know? So, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm over it. A lot of enemies missing heads. That's what's so cool about the mausoleum enemies, dude. They're all missing heads, and the barnacles that grow on the walking mausoleums look like skulls. Like the bigger misbegotten to me, the ones with the big axe, they totally do. Yeah, I did lose 200k runes. I'm gonna go get them back. What? 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 What the? I'm sorry, are they playing tag with the beetle? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Oh my god! That's so cute. Alright, let's get our souls back real quick. Just gonna, we're not during the beetle. We're gonna come back. I should have marked it. I'm getting my souls back. Because I'm scared the wolves will kill me. I Listen, it, the logic isn't necessarily good, but it's a straight line. How lost could I get? It's famous last words. It's fine. Are, are you okay? Mo, you rotten omen. Your blood is cursed. Give him back. Give Lord Mikola back. How dare you lay hands on such precious flesh. Yeah, all right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, now we finally have the information that unfortunately chat has been telling me and you kind of ruined it for me. So shout out to you if you did that, because now instead of going, oh my God, wait, Mikola was kidnapped by Mogan. That's why the portal's there. Instead, I'm like, yeah, so anyway, that's the missing puzzle piece that I didn't have um, for the information. But anyway, yeah, now that I know that Mikola has been kidnapped by Moog, uh, kind of sick, kind of cool. Oh shit, where, where was the wolves? There they are! Look at them! Let me know it was a marker. Yeah, I was like, please don't tell me he's looking. Didn't you already know that? No! How was I supposed to already know that? I just, listen, I walked into the fucking boss room and I see a, a, a coffin hand and I see Moog and I'm like, no, oh Mikko, what? And then everybody in chat's like, hey, actually, actually, uh, he kidnapped him, so it's bad. And I'm like, fucking really? 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 Couldn't even fucking get five minutes into the Moog fight without that. Like, how the fuck was I supposed to know that at that point? Well, actually, rap, it's a rhetorical question. Maybe there was a way to know, but I didn't. No more playing with beetles, wolves. I'm sorry. You're deceased now. Where's the beetle? Is that blame for the dialogue? No, I was not. But it's kind of cool, like, the, the portal's probably there because of Moog kidnapping Mikola, and that's how we did it. But it's kind of lame because instead of finding that out... It's kind of interesting, it's very much like a, like a Persephone Hades situation. Oh, Jesus. That was much faster than I expected. Wait. Aha! White Shadow's lore. Oh, is that like a mimic? Create a white shadow. The apparition lures in foes of human build who are not in combat, drawing their aggression. Effective on demi-humans, even if they are already in a combat state. In other words, wow, I can't believe the lore just did that to me. The lore literally just said, hey, by the way, demi-humans are so stupid that if you materialize a, a being out of nothing, they will chase it. That was cute. The fact that we literally see, like, a bunch of wolves chasing a cute beetle, that's adorable. That's the type of stuff I love in these games. It's just plain cute. So this is the map, right? This is where I found the map? I think it was. So it was right next to the map. That's crazy. Interesting. Give Lord Mikola back. Interesting. 